Magandang araw, kamusta po kayo? Ako po si Darna, ang host at creator ng Buhay Tuklas. Samahan niyo po ako sa mga pagtuklas at pagpapakilala at dagdag kaalaman para sa inyong mga manunood ng YouTube video. Nais kong makapagbigay ng saya at konting kaalaman sa inyo bilang isang tagalikha. Halina't samahan niyo ako sa isa na namang pagtuklas at pagpapakilala at ating alamin ang pinagmulan. Money Pacquiao net worth $220 million What is Manny Pacquiao's net worth and career earnings? Manny Pacquiao is a Filipino boxer, actor, singer, endorser and politician. As of this writing, Manny Pacquiao's net worth is $220 million. Manny Pacquiao is an active political figure, having served as a senator of the Philippines for many years. Among many sporting circles, Pacquiao is considered one of the best, pound for pound, boxers of all time. He is the only professional boxer to be named an 8th division world champion and has won linear championships in 5 different weight classes. In addition to his athletic and political careers, Pacquiao has pursued a number of business ventures to emerge as a successful entrepreneur. The biggest and most lucrative fight of Manny's career took place in May 2015 against longtime rival Floyd Mayweather. When it was all said and done, between his guaranteed purse and pay-per-view bonus earnings, Manny ended up earning $130 million from the fight. During his career, he has earned at least $500 million from fights and endorsements. Early life Emmanuel de Pridren Pacquiao was born on December 17, 1978, in Kibawe, Bukidnon, a small municipal area in the Philippines. He grew up with his mother and father among six siblings until sixth grade. When his parents separated, at a young age, Pacquiao was inspired to get into combat sports by watching Bruce Lee videos and Muhammad Ali fights. His family struggled with poverty, and he had to drop out of high school as a result. Pacquiao began boxing at age labing apat na senior he left home in order to help his mother provide for his siblings. He has stated that he started boxing to survive, as it was something he knew that he was good at while living on the streets. Pacquiao turned professional at age labing anim. Although he had previously earned a spot on the national Filipino team at Labing Apat, his room and board were paid for by the government, and he had an amateur record of 60 wins and 4 losses. At Apat 2011 with a weight of 98 pounds, the Labing Anim na year old Manny Pacquiao was not legally allowed to fight. He later admitted that he put weights in his socks during weigh-in so that he could compete. He won his first professional light flyweight fight against Edmund Ignacio. Although a loss against Rustico Torre Campo was an early setback for Pacquiao, he went on to win his next 15 fights. His first major title came when he defeated Chachai Sisokol, and he followed this up by winning the Super Bantamweight title in 2001. In 2003, he fought at featherweight for the first time, dealing Antonio Barrera 80 KO in the 11th round. In order to fight Eric Morales, Pacquiao moved up to super featherweight in 2005. Although he lost the initial fight against his rival, he won in 2006. After successfully defending the title against various fighters, Pacquiao beat Morales once again in 2006. In 2008, Pacquiao moved up once again to the lightweight division, claiming his fifth title in the process. That same year, he moved up again to the welterweight division, beating Oscar De La Hoya after gaining weight to reach 148 pounds. In 2009, Pacquiao moved to light welterweight in order to fight Ricky Hatton. After winning, he became a sixth division champion. After continuing to fight in the welterweight class, Pacquiao set his sights on a new opponent Floyd Mayweather. Although negotiations with Mayweather initially fell through, Pacquiao continued to fight various fighters for the next five years, earning even more titles in the process. Finally, the two fought in 2015, with Pacquiao losing in a controversial decision. After temporarily retiring after the fight, Pacquiao returned to professional boxing with a number of additional victories. Although Mayweather refused the rematch, career earnings approximately 20 million people have purchased pay-per-views for Pacquiao's events. The sum of his dalawang putlimang pay-per-view bouts equates to approximately $1.3 billion in revenue. In 2015, he was the second highest paid athlete in the world. Here are some more of Pacquiao's biggest paydays. Manny Pacquiao's career earnings opponent earnings date Eric Morales $2 million January 2006 Oscar Larius $1 million July 2006 Eric Morales $3 million November 2006 George Solis $2 million April 2007 Marco Antonio Barrera $2 million October 2007 Oscar De La Hoya $11 million December 2008 Ricky Hatton $12 million May 2009 Miguel Cotto $35 million November 2009 
Antonio Margarito $35 million November 2010 Shane Mosley $20 million May 2011 Juan Manuel Marquez $20 million November 2011 Timothy Bradley $20 million June 2012 Juan Manuel Marquez $30 million December 2012 Brandon Rios $30 million November 2013 Timothy Bradley $20 million April 2014 Chris Algieri $20 million November 2014 Floyd Mayweather $130 million May 2015 Timothy Bradley $33 million April 2016 Jesse Vargas $10 million November 2016 Adrian Broner $10 million January 2016 Total $446 million Political career Manny Pacquiao first ran for a seat in the Filipino House of Representatives in 2007 and was defeated. He followed this up by running for a different district in 2010 gaining success this time around. After becoming successful in the world of Filipino politics, Pacquiao ran for a seat in the Senate in 2016. He won the seat and continues to be intimately involved with the politics of his home nation. Mag-subscribe sa aming channel para sa higit pang nakakangga nyo na makasaysayang nilalaman at tiyaking pindutin ang notification bell upang hindi makaligtaan ang isang update. I-like, ibahagi, at iwanan ang iyong mga saloobin sa seksyon ng mga komento sa ibaba. Salamat sa pagsama sa amin sa nakakapagpapaliwanag na paglalakbay na ito. Hanggang dito na lang mga katoklas ko at umaasa po ako na napasaya ko kayo at nakapagbigay ako ng konting kaalaman. Kung nagustuhan po ninyo ang content inaanyayahan ko po kayo na mag-subscribe at hit na notification bell para sa mga bagong video na aking ilalabas at paki-like na rin po ang video bilang tulong at pagsuporta sa buhay to class. Maraming salamat po and God bless.